Hey everyone, it's Amador, and welcome to my stop here on our One Little Dreamer Design Team Oktoberfest YouTube Hop. And we're having a YouTube Hop for the entire month of October. It is spread out within several days between all of the um, all of the designers, which is Rosanna, myself, Tammy, Kamika, P, uh, and Marissa. And you probably came over from Rosanna's channel, and your next stop after this will be on the... 13th and it will be at Tammy and she is SS crafter one. I'll make sure to leave the link um, On her for her channel here in the description Also, there will be a link for all the information for our sponsors and all of the awesome prizes and the different entries that you can do To win the awesome prizes for our Oktoberfest uh, YouTube pop so the prizes range from uh, the hot prize which is $35 the Project prize worth $75 and the grand prize is crazy. The grand prize worth $165 and these are from stores, online stores such as Artie's. They include Tsunami Rose Designs, Shabby Licious, Lace Boutique One, Scrapbooking With Me, Elegant Embellishments, Natasha's Scrapbook Corner, and Glimpse, Glimpse of Memories. So those are the awesome, awesome um, stores that have sponsored our YouTube Hop. What we were focusing on this month is um, Artie's stamp sets. She has awesome polymer stamp sets, which include sayings and all sorts of things. One of them was this one, and this is the file This It has several different things like Sweet Memories, One Day, Vacation, quite a bit of arrangement of things, and a little arrow that you can use for your projects. This is one I already had and I use this one as well with it which is the um the Scrabble tile one and then we also have this one which is rewind oh, upside down it would help if I did it correctly and this one is the rewind and this is from her October release so this one just came out it has all these awesome things um back in the day throwback Thursday uh, replay the good uh, the good times and that was then and this is now awesome awesome stamp set I use this as well and along with this other one that I just got and this is one of her rubber stamp sets she has several of the polymer and a few of the rubber ones and this one is from everyday cards I used several um, different things from my own collection because I don't have any stuff um, items that I would generally use for this project. So let me go ahead and show you what I went and challenged myself, something that I've never done. Here is what I made. I actually made two layouts, and these are Project Life layouts. I've never done anything. You guys have seen any of my projects. They're super embellished. I make mini albums that end up being fat albums. Um, so anyhow, let me m remove the bottom one. I oh, will get back to that one in a minute and show you the um, this main one. Okay, so here is um, Fifi's dress. This was actually from her birthday, and this dress was inspired by the movie Sabrina, the original one with Audrey Hepburn, and um, that's where the color palette came from. So I used this paper line, which is this one right here on one side. I only had one sheet, just to show you guys um, how you know easy and versatile a double-sided sheet can be, and this is the, from my mind's eye, and I think it's one of the... Um, Find Your Wings and Fly uh, sheets, and just some black cardstock and some peach colored pink cardstock and cream. So on um, that's this one right here. Use the Spellbinders um, die, and this cool little banner with one of these sayings from um, the file. This most of these on this layout have the sayings from this um, stamp set, and it's this one right here that says Sweet Memories. And if you move on over here, I also used, um, I wanted to use laces. I wanted to show that even though it's a Project Life, you can use laces. You know, people use wood veneers. I made faux veneers. Um, but yeah, this is one of the heart trims from Artie Shop. This is still available in white also. And um, this is just one of those um, scalloped envelope dies from Stampin' Up. The um, hearts were actually made with this die, and it's from the... Greeting Hunt Farm stamp. I used this Polaroid die and also one of the other dies that it's, um, I have two actually, a small one and a large one from um, Quick Cuts. So I used that one and these hearts, so nothing went to waste. And I will show you, after all of this was done, I thought of a cool other project. So I have a second-ish kind of project that I will show you guys, which is going to be more of a gift. So, and this is from the from this stamp set right here, the happy birthday. I used it on one of these little hearts and I used this um, 
stamps it with the Scrabble tiles to spell out Fifi's name. That's my spoiled little dog. And this one was blank. So, well, obviously they all come blank. But I put a little heart, which I use this one. It has some hearts and some stars in there. So I just wanted to put a little heart in the color of ink they kind of went with. Like I said, I really wanted to use stamps. Um, and I wanted to use laces and trims to show that you can. You know, even though it's a Project Life, it's smooth, it's flat. Nothing's sticking out of these little pockets. So um, I used quite a few trims on here. So we'll move over here to this one. And this, I used that, um, this stamp, the Oh So Sweet stamp on this paper. And I just stamped it once and then kept on going and offset it as it went down. This is one of the little uh, Quick Cuts dies with one of Fifi's pictures, the heart, a little crown. And this trim is also this bridal, this huge bridal trim that's still available in Artie's shop. And I use this portion right here just to give a little accent right there. So now, also these 3x4 cards I cut with this um, stamp, this um, punch from We Are Memories. I got this one from... Um, from Terry, and if you guys know, I've I've talked about Terry a lot, and she's from Stamps Alive. I'll leave that link on the description as well, just in case you guys want to pick these up. She has them super cheap, um, and they're nineteen ninety nine. So, and you know, plus shipping, so that's pretty awesome. And I was punching these like crazy, so I was getting them all done, and you'll see what I created with that as well. So. Uh, the second little one, this is just a cream cardstock and it's Recollections. And this right here, I punched the Oh So Sweet again. And if anyone's ever, if you've ever received a card or a letter from me, you'll see I tend to write um, diagonally. I don't write straight if there's no lines. I just go writing that way. So I stamped these arrows here from the stamp set right there. And I just followed them just like I did the Oh So Cute to write my journaling. There's going to be journaling here and journaling on this spot as well. So this one was just a cutout of, it just coincidentally came out this way and have the space to uh, write right there. So this one is, once again, that paper and some leftover cutouts from that Spellbinder. And I just stamped several times the Oh So Sweet. Then I colored it in with um, my Copic markers just to give it a cute little, just something different. So that's this page right here. And let's see, we'll go up and... Now this one here is another trim and it's this one as well and it just continues on. This didn't even go here. I actually cut it off and then I placed it again over here. I was moving it around to see how it would go. But like I said, this is nice. It lo would look like something big and huge and it's nice and smooth. See, it's nice and smooth. Um, I st punched out some of uh, those feathers from my new Tim Holtz dies. I think it's like the writing desk. And I just decorated and embellished it right there. Just, just like a little... just a showpiece. Um, here is another one of the 4x6 cards and this little Polaroid once again. Um, this is a picture of Fifi from one of our Christmas cards in her little Juicy Couture doggy bed. And it was just really pink so I wanted to use this for this layout. And this is a new uh, Anna Griffin die. I just went ahead and cut it and I cut another little piece to kind of get this to go over here. So I used also the this the punch cuts out this rounded corner and to punch out the other corners I use the quarter inch side of this uh, We Are Memory Keepers um, punch and this thing is awesome because it cuts even chipboard so I totally recommend the one that I'll sell at Joann's. So there is, I'll just bring it by again so you guys can see like I said even if it's Project Life you can still use these trims. So I use several of them on this layout from Artie's shop. So all of you Project Lifers, please be nice. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, probably very unconventional, um, but I really wanted to try it and challenge myself and use these stamps in a different way than I would normally use. So here is the second layout and completely different. I think this is probably more towards the regular um, Project Life items. And by the way, we're going to call it Scrapbook Life. <laughs> I don't want to get you know sued or anything like that, but um, this is probably more even less embellished as you guys can see this is probably more than you know people are probably used to but I went ahead and used this paper line and this paper once again I try to use at least just two, one or two um, papers this one is from I think this one is from Lawn Fine I use this part right here and just some cutouts from this one which is from October afternoon these little cameras I also used um, this light blue one is this one. This one is also from My Mind's Eye. And um, 
I used the front part and I used this light blue. I wanted this one to have more of the peaches and corals. If you see, they kind of go with the colors. I've really been loving this color. So, and the light blues, and you guys already know that the light um, robin's eggs and aqua blues are like totally my favorite.